One, two, one, two, three. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having a spectacular day. So today I thought we would do something fun. Um, I did my big Harry Potter haul in which I just showed you like a quick clip of these um, Harry Potter book covers, but I figured maybe today we could do like an in-depth look at them because when I searched YouTube, there really isn't like a in-depth uh, look through of the Nerdy Ink Harry Potter book covers. So I thought it'd be really fun to um, do a like in-depth look at the Nerdy Ink book covers. Um, if you want to check out Nerdy Ink, this is their Instagram handle. I'll also link their website below where you can purchase these book covers. Um, I think they are limited edition, so if you really love them, totally get your hands on them. Um, I think they were $35, and they're gorgeous, stunning, stunning covers. Um, so I figured we'd go in and take a look at what's on the covers. But before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe because it'll really support my channel. And let's take a look at the Nerdy Ink Harry Potter book covers. So the first one we're gonna look at is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. So as you can see right on the front, it features Harry with his glasses, he's got his wand, there's a sort of spell happening here. We've got the Golden Snitch. Um, We've got the Sorcerer's Stone. We've got his letter to Hogwarts. Um, it's framed in this like beautiful gold with purple like decor on the outside. I love that, um, as you saw in the previous uh, section before we got started, that the spines are all like really amazing. So when you display them, the spines look awesome. On the spine, it says Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Um, JK Rowling on the bottom. And we've got Hegwig here um, as the like mascot for the uh spine and on the top it says one so year one on the back we've got a beautiful drawing of hogwarts look at that we don't really see uh, a version like this it's sort of like a caricature version you see harry here flying to catch the snitch we've got it looks like a bunch of students maybe malfoy um hagrid ron on the bottom here we've got the chocolate frog uh canister and the chocolate frog and on the back it says harry you're a wizard which i guess is like one of the most important lines of book one um on the inside we've just got some like nice red and tan inner lining and that is the cover for harry potter and the sorcerer's stone the next book is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. So this cover features Ginny Weasley holding um, Tom Riddle's diary. And you can see the initials Tom Marvolo Riddle. On the top, we've got J.K. Rowling. We've got a Mandrake on the right side. On the bottom, we've got Ron's Howler. Um, and it says Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. And we've got, I am assuming it's the Basilisk. They're wrapped around the uh, title of the Chamber of Secrets. So what's kind of cool is book one was sort of like a red, purple, and gold theme, which you could argue represents Gryffindor. The second book is all about Salazar Slytherin. So we've got green featured type, and then we've got this beautiful like light blue and dark blue framing on the side. It says two Harry Potter. We've got the sorting hat on the side, and it says the Chamber of Secrets, J.K. Rowling. And on the back... Now we've got this really like cool nighttime uh, drawing of Hogwarts here. You can see the flying car there. Um, it's kind of cool. You've got all the lights on the inside of Hogwarts, which is really, really cool. On the bottom here, we've got a quill, and we've got all of Gilderoy Lockhart's books. And on the back quote, it says, Enemies of the Air, Beware. And on the inside, we've just got some nice um, green and tan sort of... Uh, inner lining for book two and that is harry potter and the chamber of secrets the next book is harry potter and the prisoner of azkaban and this one features hermione now look at hermione's hair isn't that wild it's funny they describe her hair in all of the books as like extremely bushy and she doesn't really do anything to it until book four um so it's hermione and she's got her time turner here we've got crookshanks on the front we've got the marauders map on the bottom and then we've got sirius black as his animagus as the grim um in the titling of the prisoner of azkaban this book is uh purple and green and it's got gold on the side we've got harry potter it says three we've got the Hermione's Time Turner, and it says The Prisoner of Azkaban, J.K. Rowling. 
And on the back, now we've got a nice different view of Hogwarts. This is sort of like the back view, uh, nighttime Hogwarts. We've got the moon, obviously, because of Professor Lupin. He is a uh, werewolf. We've got Harry's Patronus here when he discovers how to do his Patronus. And we've got the evil rat that actually ends up being Wormtail. And on the back, it says Mischief Managed, which we all know is the way to make sure that nobody finds out about the Marauder's Map. On the inside, we've got purple and tan for the inner lining. And that is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Next, we've got the big, thick book, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. This one features, I want to say it looks like, I think that's Ron. I want to say that this is featuring Ron. He's got uh, tickets to the Quidditch World Cup. Here, we've got the Triwizard Tournament Cup. We've got the Goblet of Fire on the inner lining of the text of the Goblet of Fire. And we've got the egg from um, the first challenge where they stole from the dragons. And that is the cover. This is featuring blue. So you could argue that it's sort of blue for Ravenclaw. Um, on the side, we have got four, Harry Potter, Dobby with all of his socks, and the Goblet of Fire, J.K. Rowling. So for those of you who haven't read the books, um, Dobby is actually a really big part of the Goblet of Fire that they did not include in the movie. So I think it's fitting that they included Dobby on the spine of this book. And for the back, we've got a gorgeous view of Hogwarts with all the different um, uh, flags for all the different schools. We've got the maze there. Ooh, that's actually the first time that I noticed that. We've got the maze here. Um, we've got, that looks like either Veritaserum, Polyjuice Potion, or some sort of, sort of potion. And um, the quote on the back says, where's the fun without a bit of risk? And on the inner linings, we've got blue and tan and blue and tan. And that is Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Next, we've got Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. I love this one because it features Luna at the top here. We've got Luna Lovegood with her Specta Specs and the Quibbler. Um, we've got a Prefect Badge and we've got some Galleons. On the inside of the Order of the Phoenix text, we've got the Globe or the Orb of the Prophecy. And on the bottom here, we've got one of Professor Umbridge, Dolores Umbridge's proclamations when she sort of takes over the school. This is featuring blue and gray. So maybe you could also argue that this is a uh, uh, Ravenclaw as well. On the spine, we've got number five. We've got a Thestral, Order of the Phoenix, J.K. Rowling. And on the back here, we've got another different view of Hogwarts. Um, we've got, it looks like Professor Umbridge down here. This is the centaur that she uh, tries to ban and they end up taking her away. We've got this sort of beautiful sunset. Look at that. It's like purple, pink, yellow, and orange. We've got the nice grass. We've got Dolores Umbridge's kitty cat plates. And on the back, it is, of course, a Luna Lovegood quote. And it says, you are just as sane as I am. I love Luna. She's one of my favorite characters. And on the inside, it is gray and tan for the inner lining. Gray and tan. And that is Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Next, we're getting very dark here. We have Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. And of course, it features Malfoy because Malfoy goes through a big transformation here. And a lot goes on for Malfoy in this book. Obviously, we've got his wand and sort of like darkness coming out of it because he is becoming a Death Eater. We've got the Slytherin locket that Harry and Dumbledore find on their uh, search for the Horcruxes. In the Half-Blood Prince quotes, we've got liquid luck here because, of course, Harry needs luck on his journey to sort of help um, Professor Slughorn uh, reveal his secrets. And we've got the ring. So this is the ring, the Horcrux ring that um, Dumbledore wears and ends up destroying as well on the side of the spine. Of course, you have to have six and the advanced potion making book and the Half-Blood Prince and J.K. Rowling. And we're getting very dark here. So this is a side angle of the Hogwarts castle. Of course, we've got the dark mark on top because of what happens at the end of the book. On the bottom here, we've got a cauldron and a um, nose-biting cup of tea. I think that's from the Weasleys. And the quote on the back says, luck can only get you so far. 
Obviously, this book is black and purple because we're getting to the darker parts of the world of Harry Potter. So we've got black and tan and black and tan. And this is Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. And next, we've come to the last book, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. I love this. I feel like the movies sort of took Neville out of a lot. And so I love that they featured Neville on the front here with the Sword of Gryffindor for him, uh, you know, uh, cutting off Nagini's head at the end of the book. Um, we have got the Haga Hufflepuff Cup. That's also a Horcrux. We've got the Tales of Beetle and the Bard and the Elder Wand um, talking about the Deathly Hollows. And we've got here a uh, Ministry of Magic like form or uh, memo here from the Ministry. I love that they sort of ended the books in a bright yellow, right? Because we didn't, we got dark with number six but we come out on the better side with number seven. So we've got this like nice yellow lettering on the side here. We have seven, Harry Potter. We've got, I want to say that's Severus Snape and Lily's Patronus. And we've got Deathly Hallows and J.K. Rowling. On the back, we've got Hogwarts. And look, it's been completely destroyed from the battle, but it is still standing. On the bottom here, we've got the Deathly Hallows mark with the necklace and the quote on the back says until the very end which is perfect I feel on the inside we've got yellow and tan yellow and tan and that is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows well I hope you guys enjoyed that video again I just wanted to sort of feature and show you my favorite Harry Potter book covers I have a bunch of different um editions but i just love these because it sort of shows you like a different illustration than what we know i also love that it features characters that are uh, sort of taken out of the movies which i think is really important um, to honor the books the way that they were written um, again you can purchase these at nerdy inc i will link the uh, website below you can follow them here on their instagram i hope you guys enjoy this video if you guys have any questions about the book covers please leave a comment below if you have any questions about harry potter leave a comment below again before you go please don't forget to subscribe because it'll really support my channel and i will see you guys in the next video um we are going to talk about harry potter book four and movie four thanks guys